Hello, my name is Jeremy Fox. This is my week three reflection video for Java 1. Uh, what API am I planning on using? Uh, I am using my own API that I uh, wrote and is now living up on Heroku for my little notes application. Uh, and as you'll see here, uh, when I demo my app, we can actually, you can see the logs coming through for the requests. So if we do Heroku logs dash T. Okay. So there is a live output of our logs. So once I start running, I'll open this up again and you can see the requests going through, uh, through my API. Uh, how did the lessons from this week go? Uh, everything went fine. Uh, I felt, uh, there was a little, uh, Felt a little overwhelmed with some of the stuff that was being asked. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's it's actually really clear what is all being asked uh, because to to properly monitor network uh, on a mobile device and store things offline, allow them to be edited offline, allow them to be synced back up when the network comes back up. Uh, that is a lot of work and very detailed work. Um, to get all that done in a week, I, to be honest with you, I'm, uh, it's, it's been rough to, to say the least. Um, I'm still not even 100% that what I'm submitting ha is going to meet all the requirements. So I'm um, keeping my fingers crossed and hoping it does. I've looked through the rubric and uh, I believe everything that is requested in the rubric, rubric I am meeting. Um, so that's about all I have to say on that. Uh, what do you think of Java so far? Uh, uh, I like Java. I'm more of an Objective-C fan myself, just because I have a lot more experience of it or in it. But uh, Java's Java's cool as well. Um, list a few things that could use more clarification. Right now, uh, I don't really have anything that could use more clarification. Uh, I got <clears throat> the the clarification, if you will, through an email uh, with uh, GSE. So, just uh, for anybody who's curious, I'll show you. This is my app at this point. Not sure how much you can see there, but uh, yeah, I've got a couple test notes in there now. So if we pull open my Heroku logs, what you'll see is if I go ahead and submit a new note here, we'll just do a bunch of junk here just to bank it quicker. If I do save. There you go. You see the, the API just read it, just received the new response. It saved it and uh, I updated the list with the, the new note. And then I also implemented uh, editing a note. So if you click on long press, you get the contextual action bar up there and then you can edit it and it pre-populates everything, the title and the description. <clears throat> so we can change it to whatever we want, save it, API registers the, re the update request, and it gets updated. Uh, and then of course if you just touch them, it displays the note in the title, like it always did. And then you can long press, select multiple, and then press the trash can to delete, and they all, you know, whatever selected is deleted. And as you can see, the API registered delete requests and everything goes away. Uh, and then there's also a refresh icon which will load and shows a progress dialog while it's loading. So that's the app so far. Um, digging it and hopefully after the end of the month when it, we get it styled up, uh, it'll pretty much be ready to go for prime time. I'm thinking about just uh, releasing it to the Google Play Store just uh, as like my first Android app. So I mean, it's nothing special at this point, but it'll be nice to have on the resume and all of that, just get it out there and let my friends download it and play with it and just give me uh, some, some decent reviews. So uh, that's about it for now. Uh, so thank you for watching.